Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code, Question Type Easy 1251 Average Selling Price. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the description below. Now let's solve together the problem which we want to solve okay we can see that they have given a table called prices and also a respective table of units sold okay we can see the prices table product id start date end date price that is there and each product depending upon where it is sold the prices also have been given here okay so it is not an issue now what they're asking write a solution to find the selling price for each product average price should be rounded to two decimal places if your product is not uh, okay if your product is not having any sold units its average selling price should be assumed to be zero okay now what they want is for everything which is there in this prices table okay they want the each product average price okay so let us see how we can calculate this is the table this is unit sold table unit sold table this is the final output table now let us see how they are connected we can see that product 1 is there and a product 2 is there okay and here also they have given it but when was the order made you can see here the order was made on 2019 225 2019-225 will come in which range this range so this thing should be connected to this one because product ID is equal to product ID and this purchase date is falling between this start date and end date okay similarly let us go for the next product ID product ID product IDs are there next 2013 March 1st can we say it is falling here so the second row is connected to this row okay next what it is there 2 2 february 10 can i say it is falling in this range february 10 so third row is connected to third row and the fourth one march 22 we can see the fourth row is being connected to connect so how these tables are connected is such that the product table ID, prices table ID is equal to price and the purchase date should be greater than or equal to start date and less than or equal to this date means it is falling in between these two ranges. Okay. Next. Now what will happen? One will have 100. One will have 100 where price is 5. Two will have, so one will have again. 15 units price is 20 similarly 2 will have 200 units price 15 2 will have 30 units 30 rupees okay now they want to calculate the total revenue by sum of units what is the total revenue it is 100 into 5 500 15 into something 300 okay this is the total revenue 800 similarly here 300 13 to 30 900 so total revenue is how much 1200 okay now what they want to do they want to calculate it by the sum of total revenue divided by total number of units what is the total number of units only this one Similarly, what is the total number of units? Okay, 
this one I guess or any mistake I'm doing sorry 15 into 200 right my guess this is 3000 3000 plus this one 3900 okay so it is 3900 divided by 230 so how to do this one first step one connect these two table using product ID and product ID similarly purchased it between these two things okay that is the step one we have done the step one next step two to be let us create a new column called revenue what is the revenue it is units into price you can see here units into price is the revenue column okay so what we need to do for each product ID do the sum of revenue which is 800 divide it by the sum of units okay let us come here let us do the step one what is step one step one is equal to prices dot merge um, unit sold which join i need to keep here there are matching rows but what they said everything which is there in this pricing table we want it so what we need to keep here left how they are connected left side table on product id similarly right on equal to product id I also need to check the purchase date greater than this thing criteria but I can't do it here so let me do it in a new step s1 is equal to s1 of s1 of s1 purchase date greater than or equal to s1 of start date let me keep it in brackets and let me keep end it is less than or equal to end date okay let me return s1 okay we got it but there is an issue if you observe we are doing a left join imagine some values not there in the other table the other row will have null if a value is there filter for this one imagine a product id is not available then i should consider them also so not matching rows so i should keep a condition for left condition i will keep or or i will keep a condition such that if it is not available what will happen the purchase date column will be null in that rows so s1 dot purchase date dot is null okay let me close it down so by this uh, what is the mistake s1 dot purchase dot is null okay one more bracket i kept Closing parenthesis not matching. This is S1 dot purchase greater than this is S1 dot purchase date S2 something. This one greater than. I think extra kept here. Okay, that's it. So our step one has been successfully solved. Now what I want, I want a new column which is revenue. So let me create S1 of revenue, which is 
S1 of price into S1 of units. Okay, let me call it as S2. Now let me do the S2. Mm, okay, sorry. This is same table column, right? It is step one, but the table is step two, but uh, table is S1. So we have a new column which is revenue, etc. etc. Now what I need to do, I need to calculate group by each product date. Each product date, where is there? Okay, each product date. Are we missing anything? 575 is there, 15 etc. is there. What about this one? How we are connecting product ID equal to product ID? That's it. 1 1 4 rows will come etc. One we are doing S1 dot purchase date is greater than or equal to start date. Yes, and S1 of purchase date. Okay, it should be less than, not greater than. Okay, group by this one and what we need to do, we need to do aggregate. So let me keep dot aggregates for the units column, calculate the sum for the revenue column, calculate the sum. Okay, as it is grouped by object, let me reset index. We can see right for each product, sum of units is 115, revenues, etc. etc. But I want average price, so let me call this as S2 or something. Now let me return, return S2 dot. Uh, I should keep it here something s2 average price is equal to s2 revenue into s2 sorry not into it is divided by now let me check the result Okay, we got it, but it should be rounded off. So let me keep round comma two. So we got the final answer, but I don't want everything. I want only product ID column comma average price column. That's it. The sample test case has been solved. Let me check for all the test cases. Okay, it's failing. Why? If there are no rows, what will happen? Null will be there, right? So let me replace null values with some zero. happening okay let me call s2 is equal to s2 return s2 dot lme dot zero okay why it's still throwing an error
okay you are dividing by s2 dot units is equal to 0 so you are dividing by something by 0 division by 0 error okay uh, okay what we are doing here Okay, then let me do one thing. S2. Here only I will keep something. S1 is equal to S1 dot fill and a something one. there will be an issue sum of units into RAM will be will be 0 by 0 okay if sum of units is equal to 0 okay I need to replace with something else okay just to replace only the units with the 0 After doing this thing, it will be thing. Okay, before doing the division, I need to replace zeros with one. Yes, that's it. So what we are doing here is simply, what is the revenue? Revenue is units into some price. Okay. Here this one is some units. So as I'm dividing by this one, when we divide by zero, it is throwing some error. Okay. Anyway, the above thing is zero into something, it will give you something error. Because revenue is already calculated. This is revenue. Okay. Revenue by units. So when we do this, revenue is also units into price, but I have calculated in the previous step. So revenue is done. Next, what I'm doing, when our units is zero, let me replace with anything because this is anyway zero. Okay, when units is zero, is anyway zero. So what I said, zero by zero is throwing error. So let me keep anything. Two or one. Any number other than zero, if you divide it, it will not throw an error. So if you keep 100, whatever the number, it will never throw an error so to avoid this null value errors wherever the division by zero is there i am replacing with the null values okay i hope it is clear for everyone and we have successfully solved the problem the code output will be available in this github and the descriptions will be available sorry the url will be available in the description below and you can check it out if you are facing any issues and if you're further interested in learning data analytics data science machine learning computer vision generate various stuff please fill in this google form which is available in the description below and my team will be reaching out to you soon if you're preparing for data science interviews please check out this playlist it will be greatly helping you and every day try to answer this community questions which i post it, it will be greatly helping your solving abilities okay for further questions or doubts please use this hashtag Ask MLU Prasad in comment section and I'll be answering all the things which is having this comment. Okay. Until then, keep learning guys.